Yeah. Yep. All righty. Now, Ron had to toss one back there. Uh, looks like that was a <laughs> four three drop hand. They had two lords and, and two of the sites. So they're going to want something a little faster. Ron is on the draw here. Uh, just so you take a look at that. <sighs> Definitely not. Yeah. Oh, Pioneer is so great. <laughs> I mean, this this deck actually existed before Pioneer came out, but then once Pioneer came out, it was like, okay, this deck is definitely for real. That two drop, that's a three, two for two with Reckless, which really isn't a drawback in this deck. Uh, but then whenever it attacks, you get an extra power. And for a deck that's trying to curve out and maximize as much power as they can milk out on the early turns, being able to just basically get a free power on your second turn after this starts attacking is huge. They didn't. Yeah, they didn't. That is interesting that they went wide there. Usually you want to get the Pioneer out first because you want to maximize that mana. Uh, but they obviously know what they're doing there. They wanted to go wide. Uh, maybe maybe they saw the Masterwork and they wanted to start getting wide damage in. But, uh, but yeah, unfortunately that Yeti Spy is going to get... Uh, <laughs> that's tough for this. Tripwire granted in. Not only is it a 1-2 blocker, but then can just take out one of your units when it enters play. Not exactly the card you want to see on the other side of the table. That is rough. Theo here with a Huntress to take out that Yeti Pioneer. All right. Yeah, Ron's going to hit the Masterwork here. That's going to pump up their units, which will be pretty good. Um, and here's one of the things with the Yeti deck. You know, Ron's been beat up. Oh, Theo's gotten some good some good value from their card so far, but it's still not over. With the Masterwork or, uh, you know, some other cards off the top, the Blazing Salvo here, they can still push through damage. And that's one of the things about this Yeti deck is they can, they can make damage happen. Um, so, and here you go. They're going to change it out for a Seer here. Theo down to 16. Now, I don't love Ron's position, but, you know, this Yeti deck can do 16 damage. So it's not, it's definitely not over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there you go. And there's the snowball's going to do one down. That's going to put Theo down to 10 with a seer in hand. And Theo's just looking at a pair of throne rooms in hand. And that's actually going to trigger the inspired prank for Ron because two Yetis hit. That's going to get them a 5-5 five -five here. But this was even with Theo breaking up the early turns. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely. And Ron's going to take that one. They're going to take the first game here. And as I said beforehand, you know, don't sleep on Yetis. I think people get, get into this form here in these tournament matches where they go higher and higher and try to one up each other and try to one up each other. And we saw, you know, the ramp deck come out and you know, one way, if everybody's going to keep trying to one up each other, one thing you can do is you can go under them and you can bring a Yetis to a tournament. You might just be able to blaze by some people unexpectedly. And, you know, I think a bunch of people thought that that's why we have two bandit queen decks and a Yetis deck. I think people are trying out to say, if everybody's going to go big, 
Maybe maybe you go fast and try to get under them. <laughs> yep. This is a pretty good this is a pretty good hand, yeah. One Well, I, I think it will this time. One of the cool synergies you'll see with here is because Pock Pock has bond, if you can get a three power unit out, you can play Pock Pock for free. And so the Yeti Pioneer, all the things we already mentioned were so good, already gets down here. You put that Yeti Pioneer on turn two and you can Pock Pock it in the same turn. So I'd be very surprised if we don't see Yeti Pioneer into Pock Pock, which is a pretty powerful turn two. See, they've got two power down. They were on the play. They've got seven in hand. Let me make sure we get their hand cam here. Let's see what Theo's working with over here. All right, Theo's got an auto tread, limited all star, granite and drone, whispering wind, a no one to hold him, a crow, two whispering winds, a crow, and a throne room here. All right, yep, and that auto tread's going to take out one of those units. Oh, and unfortunately for Ron, they missed their third power here. They would have been backbreaker to drop Wump here and start smashing for damage. It would also make it a lot tougher for that auto tread to do some damage, but without hitting their third power, now they thankfully they have a very cheap hand, so they can still deploy threats here, but Ron really wanted to hit that third power to start getting the party started, uh, but looks like they're going to have to settle for either some removal or couple units here I, I imagine you want to get that auto tread off the board so probably going to start with a blazing salvo and then probably play one of your one drops i would assume yeah and that's what we're going to see there gonna go ahead and take care of that blocker play out a one drop Oh, I just, re I just realized I was I was watching the Twitch stream, so I was casting the game one again. Um, <laughs> whoopsie! Uh, so yeah, luckily we're not we're not too far into the game. Um, I am so sorry, chat. For no worries. All right, we've got Ron. That. We've got Ron with their their pioneer, their pock pock, and their two. Uh, they're two little yetis here, their power glider and their uh, powder glider, I'm sorry, and their snow crust yeti. So pretty good hand here. You know, the Overmaster, we saw how great their deck was game one and how fast it could be. But <laughs> you know what's faster is this yeti deck. Now Theo has to say, can you play from behind? Can you stabilize against this army? And here is Insignia off the top. That will allow the party to get started. Here comes Wump. Fire off a snowball and pump all these Yetis plus an extra power from the Yeti Pioneer. This is huge turn for Ron. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep. If if you're not in a good position to for when when Wump comes down, that's gonna be painful. And I Theo misspoke last to... turn saying that he only had one more power, but thanks to that uh, Yeti Pioneer, he was able to deploy two threats uh, post-combat because of the extra power from Yeti Pioneer. Uh, so we'll yep. see that again here. And one of the cool synergies with Yeti Pioneer, again, we've talked about how great this card is, because you get the power when you attack, you get the power immediately, which we're going to see right here, allows you to play something like Pummel mid-combat because you got the power right at attacks. It's not after damage. So you kind of get that power immediately and allows you to play combat tricks. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, that is a complete blowout. Theo has no board, three power, staring at a whole army that's presenting all sorts of lethal. And there's a Champion of Fury uh, coming up. <laughs> yeah, and, the Champion um, of Fury, and a Champion of Fury on top. Right. So, Theo has to, has to know when to hold him for Krull. Get a two drop. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to be taking two against Yetis to get a two drop, but... Do what you got to do, I guess. This auto tread will take out this Wump. 
really all that Theo can do to stem the bleeding a little bit, but they're not in great shape here. No. It might uh, even be lethal. No. So you've got Seer. I mean, you've got Seer plus the champion. I think that's just lethal. Yeah, but you know, do we have four power? Oh, yes, you have the four yeah, power. Yeah, because, so. of, because of the Yeti Pioneer, you've got the four power anyway. Yep. So, and that Seer is going to go right there. Again, so that's what we are saying with how great Yeti Pioneer is. That card that card carried this game. I mean, Ron had a great hand anyway, but just the, the value that it got. What, what did Pioneer do that game? Bonded out Pock Pock. Poc. Allowed you to play two two drops, and then allowed you to basically get a combat trick and the seer for the win there. So uh, four things on top of being a three two for two. <laughs> right, right. You know, hey, uh, how 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 do you like a ramp dork that that you know a gives you a three two drop? You know, that's kind of what Pock Pock is. A one five is definitely not.